This video is to demonstrate the I-cord bind off for the ranunculus pullover. So I'm working on my second sleeve, nearly finished. I've knit one round even with a smaller needle and then the reduction of stitches with a knit one, knit two together around until for my size, I've got to 33 stitches. And now I have to do a, an I-cord bind off. So I need to insert the tip of the right needle as if to knit and using the knitted cast on, cast on five stitches. So I've just inserted the needle as if to knit, wrap around, pull through, but instead of taking this stitch off, I'm going to put this stitch on the needles and I'll just twist it. You don't actually have to twist it, but I, as a habit I do. And then we just repeat that. So I've added one stitch and I need to add four more. So insert the needle, wrap around, pull through, and put that on the left needle. Do that three more times. Insert, wrap around, pull through, and put it on. That's three. Insert, wrap around, pull through, put it on. That's four. Insert, wrap around, pull through, put it on. That's five. So now the instructions are to knit four. And then knit two together through the back loop. So you're knitting one with the one of the cast on stitches with the previous stitch. So knit two together through the back loop. And then you put those five stitches back to the left needle. So it helps if you've got sort of pointy tips here, just to make it easier to move them back. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll repeat that. Insert. Right, so knit four, two, three, four, and then knit two together through the back loop. So you'll knit that one with the next stitch. So you're going to consume every time you're going to consume one more of the sleeve stitches and you're building up this I cord around the edge. So I'm going to repeat that until I get to the end and then just show you the finishing off. So I'm nearly finished. I've got seven stitches left on the needles. So I've just got a couple more to do where I do the I cord and then put it back. So almost finished. back and then this will be the last one because I've got six stitches on the needles now so I'll be knit four and then knit two together through the back loop and then I could um, switch them back to the left needle or I could just slide them to the, to the other end now that that's all there is left. And then I'll bind them off the last five stitches, just normally. So just the way you normally would bind off stitches, you knit two, remembering to do it reasonably loosely. Just a little bit caught. I'll just do that one again. Sometimes in doing that it might tighten it up a little bit too much. There we go. Then I'll bind off my last one. I have noticed when I teach at the yarn shop, quite a lot of people feel that, that when they cut the work they actually need to thread this like on a tapestry needle and insert it through the this loop and you just don't need to do that at all. I'll just show you, I might just do a separate video on that as well, but just to show you, so I'm going to cut the yarn and I will leave a bit of a tail because um, I am going to do, you know, I've got to weave that in. So I've cut the work, cut the work, don't cut your work, cut the yarn and then you just pull that needle up 
and the yarn will come through that last that last stitch and I'll do a separate video on joining these two together.